Grace, peace, and mercy be unto you from God our Father, Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Rene. I have with me. Minister Keith Doggett. Amen. Welcome to the Bush of the Prophet. Amen. Press like and share. Yes. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Yes. Praise God. Happy Amen. Wednesday to you. Amen. Amen. We're going to talk about this morning, there's still a remnant left. Amen. Amen. Let's thank God for the remnant yes. this morning. We, we, we thank God that, um, that you know, there's a group of people that still left serving God. You know, don't ever think there's nobody doing serving God. There's nobody loving God. Um, there's nobody taking, you know, doing the things that need to be done. Amen. But let us come to a place of saying, you know, God, I thank you that I'm, you know, you can't be concerned about those who are not doing, but you have to be concerned about you. And this time, um, I was reading the scripture this morning. It says, um, I think it, it, it was the book of Isaiah, I think chapter six or seven, one of them. And, and everything that was going on in the land, God said, don't look at that, look at me. And I think in everything that's going on in the world, if you're looking at the world, um, it's going down. I mean, they're getting perverted more and more. It's getting worse. But at the same time, God never called us to look at the world. As believers, he didn't call us to look at the world. He called us to look at him. Amen. 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 And if we look at God, it's always going to get better and better and better. But if you look at the world, you get depressive, you get suicidal, you get all kinds of things, but you have to look upon God. Now he said, your, he said, your country is desolate, uh, Isaiah 1, 7. Your country is desolate, your cities are burned with fire. Your land strands are divided in your presence and is desolate as overthrown by strangers. And the daughters of Zion is left as a cottage and a vineyard, right? And, and as a lodge and a garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Right? Except the Lord of hosts have left unto us a very small remnant. We should have been as Sodom and we should have been like Gomorrah. Right. Now we look at it, God still have a remnant in the church. There's still a group of people despite the way the church has gone, Zion has gone out the way and they're doing what they want to do and the way they want to do it. And some people in the church, we can't look at them because now God is saying the remnant is the one that's keeping the many. Yes, the remnant is what's keeping the rebellious. Mm -hmm. The remnant is what's keeping everything else around them. He said, unless the Lord had left it, you know? So that means the remnant, if God didn't touch us, would have been consumed too. That's how much evil the time has become. If God didn't separate us and God didn't keep us, we'll go to the same place as everybody else is going moving the same place right now we're in a place where we have to look at jesus we have to look at god we have to look at god what do you want me to do and the way you want me to do it which direction in no time to build your own thing it's time to build his thing it's time to serve him and him alone it's time to find out what is his will and say god not my will but thy will be done it's not about having all these things but jesus is soon to come and we have to be in a place and say, God, how can I live for you? How can I do the things I need to do? I know that we ain't perfect and everything. But we say, God, help me. Um, so if there was not a remnant in the land praying, and there was not a remnant um, seeking God, there was not a remnant worshiping God, giving God glory, giving God the praise, then we in trouble. We would be in trouble if there was no remnant in the land still giving God praise. We know there's fakeness. We know there's all these other things in the land. We can't worry about that because we ain't God. We can't even judge that. And that's the problem too. You have to be careful in the season, not to even look at your neighbors, not to even look at people. Your eyes got to be straight on God. It got to be straight. I don't care if anybody come to church and took out a voodoo doll. You don't even look at them. Don't even get caught up with them. You have to look straight at God and, and just serve God in the best way that you can do for the Lord. Because he said that let a, a man, woman, work out his own salvation with fear and tremble. I can't look at nobody my neighbor do. And the spirit of self-righteousness um, of self, um, self is in the land where people are busy um, judging other people but not looking at themselves to see where they can be wrong in their lives. We all have something. I have something. We all have something we're working in. But God knows that and God calls us. But sometimes when you're busy looking at other people, yours begin to grow more and more and more. And then it becomes an issue, become a problem. 
And guess what happened? You no longer become a remnant. Why? Why is it you're no longer a remnant? You're busy looking at other people instead of looking at Jesus. Because all of a sudden, you can be a remnant, but you lose your, your point of being a remnant because you allow others to pervert you. And then you start saying, if they're doing it, I'm going to start doing it. Slowly and surely, because you start looking at God. And you have to look at the Lord. You have to keep on doing good when everybody's doing bad. You have to keep on serving when nobody else want to serve. You have to keep on loving when nobody else want to love. You have to keep on giving when everybody says, well, I need my money to do this. But you keep on doing it. Because every single person have to give a thing to God while they do what they do. And whatever a man saw, if they shall reap. But I do believe in a sense that the church have to go into a place where they have to keep looking at the Lord. The world is not success. And even a church is not successful. Uh, you can't look at the church and this is successful. Oh, this one got a thousand people. We're successful. No, no, no. The devil got as much as people. You know? So we can't look at that. That's my goal. Now, my goal is this. Um, to hear... Um, well done, my good and faithful sir. That's the goal. The, the goal is not, oh, I have a, a, a building, 30,000 building. That's not, or 50,000. It's not the goal. The goal is this. Well done, my good and faithful servant. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you, you may be coming in with one wheel off and at least you've done what I told you to do. You know, that's what a remnant is about. Keep, and, and, and being a remnant is to keep on doing what Jesus left you to do no matter what. That's what it's all about. Yes. You want to say something, Mr. Keith? When I look at a remnant is you keep pressing. Mm -hmm. Forget about the things behind you. Forget about the circumstances. Forget about the trials. There's going to be trials. There's going to be tribulations. Whatever's going to happen, it's going to happen. But your mind got to be fixed on Jesus. Got to stay fixed on Jesus. And you've got to say, God, Father, not my will, Father. I want your will, Father. you got to be hungry and thirsty for the will of the Father. A will of the Father. Thirsty for the will of the Father. Hungry for the thirsty for the will of the Father. you got to stay prayed up. you got to stay concentrated. you got to stay dedicated. you got to keep your eyes on God. you got to walk. Whatever the word says, you got to be obedient to the word. Forget about your opinion. Forget about what you think. Forget about what you feel. But forget about what's going on in the world. Forget about opinion. You taught us that part, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you teach us so well because we, I'm telling you, I can, I'm, I can talk about myself. You cannot worry about opinion of people looking at things because your eyes, you are blind, you get blinded mm -hmm. in that situation. You can't look at people. Pray for them. We're the remnant. Keep praying for them. No matter what they're going to keep praying for them and keep stay focused. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't stay focused in this season time right now, you will be lost. You'll be lost just like everybody else. So the type of thing now, you gotta fight. You gotta keep this good fight of faith by any means necessary and your mind gotta be made up. Your mind gotta be made up, your heart gotta be fixed because Papa, I'm telling you, it's, it, I, it's, I'm glad you're talking about this because it's, it's, it's for real. You gotta be crazy, you gotta get radical for God and just keep fighting. Every day you wake up, God, I think you're waking me up, God. And lay, stay in the presence of God. Yeah. Stay in the presence of God. Yeah, uh, verse nine, so I'm reading from Amplified. They said, if the Lord of hosts had let, not left us a few survivors, we would be like Sodom. We would be like Gomorrah. What happened to Sodom and Gomorrah? They were destroyed. Because why? If God didn't leave us a few righteous, and there's a few righteous people, you know, that stop looking at the majority who's not, but stop finding the few that is. Stop fighting the few churches that still preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Stop fighting a, a few saints. That's still serving God despite struggling with their own thing. Yes, but um, the remnant is what's keeping everybody else alive. Yes, sir. See, that's why the devil got everybody else. You know, I, I sit down sometimes, I think about the state of the church and everything. I'm not a, what you call it, a quantum serve anybody. But I know that I begin to ask myself, where's God? And, you know, where's God? And, um, what are we supposed to what is the goal you know what is what is the goal we're supposed to be doing is it it's coming in and every sunday and looking forward for buildings or this and that and i think a lot of times we so much are looking for what's coming that we don't take care of what's in the house and 
building them up and serving them and making them a remnant. We so much talking about buildings, building funds and, and, and trying to do this. There's nothing wrong with it, but that's not the purpose. Um, if God have a goal and if we have to take the money to do something else to serve other people, then I think that's the goal. Can't care about no building or anything else. But I do believe that we have forgotten this thing. I remember sitting down and began to talk to me about the fishes of men. We, we forgot that the purpose was to fish for men. We, we forgot that goal. We forgot that assignment. You know? We, we're looking for fishes to start aquariums. We're not looking for fishes to start kingdoms. And that's the difference. And that's the difference. And that, to me, we have to look at it and say, where do I see Jesus in all these things? Where do I see Jesus in what I'm doing? Where do I see Jesus in the church? Where do I see Jesus in this? And that's the key point. And I think that once you put Jesus as the Geiger counter, you will never level off to another place that you need to be. But I do believe in this sense. We need, we need to stop looking, making the majority more important. And we need to make the mi minority, which is the remnant, to be the key. Because the remnant is the one that's keeping everybody else together. So he said the remnant is like a, the daughters of Zion is like a cottage in a des desert place. Meaning not everybody want to go there. Not everybody want to deal with it. But God is protecting that through that remnant. He said the remnant is like a, uh, 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 the daughters of Zion is like a cottage in a cucumber field. I don't know if you've ever seen a cucumber field. But it's really desolate and empty. Not much vegetation or anything there. But there's growth there. But there's growth there. And this is what the church is like. The church may look like it's deserted and nothing is happening. But there's a growth around it that only the remnant can see and what God can do through it. You know? And I, I believe that's what's the most important thing is. You know? Um, so this question this morning, are you part of the remnant? Or are you part of the majority? So, you're part of the majority. I want you to think it over. Mm -hmm. If you're part of the group and everybody else, sometimes the one that God has chosen in the season is in a deserted place in a cucumber field. Not in the fullness of everything that you call it to be. A whole bunch of people, rivers and everything. But he said, I put the daughter of Zion in a, in a cottage field. It's like a cottage in a cucumber field. That's what he said. He said, it's like a besieged city, isolated. The one that God has called is isolated, surrounded by devastation. That's where God is, in the devastation and the isolation. Don't look like much, but God is there. So, daughters of Zion, this is where you're going to be in. Amen. There's still a remnant left. My name is Pastor Emmanuel, and I have with me. Minister Keith Dog. We have one thing to say to you Jesus is Lord. God bless you.